On today's Alex and Auto's Child Seat segment, we're taking a look at the 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is a Gronko Classic Ride 50 Child Seat, which is a convertible seat suitable for forward or rear facing installation and children between 4 and 50 pounds. Now some of you have asked why do I use a Grocco Classic Ride 50 child seat? The answer is easy. This was the most popular child seat on Amazon.com about six months ago when I purchased them. This is also a very middle of the road child seat when it comes to overall dimensions. So the overall width of the seat, the overall height of the seat, and the overall depth of the seat is very average when it comes to convertible child seats. So when you're taking a look at comparison tests like I'm doing right here, vehicle to vehicle, with these Grocco Classic Ride 50 child seats, I always use the same seat in every vehicle. You will know that if it's a little bit tight in the vehicle, you can find a narrower child seat. If you have a lot of room in the vehicle, you can't afford a wider child seat. Even though the Grand Cherokee has grown in this version, it is still a five passenger, two row SUV. So we do have a relatively large second row right back here compared to some of those three row crossovers that are out there on the market, especially three row crossovers with about the same exterior dimensions as the Grand Cherokee. The first step in my child seat test is to move this front seat as far forward as I can while still being safe and comfortable. One thing to note about the Grand Cherokee is that this front seat moves actually further rearward than you'll find in a number of other crossovers or SUVs out there, so it is an awful lot more comfortable for taller drivers. In fact, as I'm moving this seat forward, my feet aren't actually touching the floorboards right up there in the front of the vehicle until right about now. Now if I continue moving this seat forward, keep in mind that I do like to sit in a relatively upright position traditionally, so I'm going to move my seat a little bit more upright right there. I now have about an inch of room between my knees and the dashboard. Let's see how well child seats fit in the back. Thanks to the overall size of the Grand Cherokee, you can see that I definitely have an adequate amount of room between this front seat and this rearward facing child seat. This rearward facing child seat is installed at the proper angle according to the angle indicator right here on the child seat itself. It is important to maintain an inch to two inches of clearance between the front seat and a rearward facing child seat like this, because in the event of a rear end collision, you can have the front seat move rearwards and impact the child seat, and that can cause your child harm. Now, if you're unsure of how to install a child seat in any vehicle, I encourage you to find a local certified child seat installer or inspector in your area that can demonstrate the proper installation procedures for your vehicle and your child seat. Thanks to the width of the rear bench seat in the Grand Cherokee, I had no problem sitting right here next to two child seats in the back. I'm six feet tall, my hair is not brushing the ceiling, and my shoulders aren't touching the door or this child seat right over here. There's definitely a lot of room right back here, especially when you compare this Grand Cherokee to some of the luxury or near luxury small crossovers or mid-sized crossovers out there. So compared to something like a Volvo XC60, a BMW X3, or an Audi Q5, with which this diesel model that we're taking a look at right here logically competes, we have an awful lot more room right across the back seat. Now, in addition to making that comfortable for adults to sit right next to two child seats, I was also able to put two child seats right over here on the 60 portion of the seat and still fold the 40 portion of the seat. That makes it more practical to put two child seats and cargo in the Grand Cherokee than most of the other two row crossovers. There really aren't very many crossovers or SUVs out there that actually allow me to put a child seat right here in the center seat and still fold the 40 position of the seat. Like most vehicles sold in America, the Grand Cherokee has only two sets of latch anchors, and that would be for the outboard seating positions only. The center child seat will have to use the integrated lap and shoulder belt. Now that lap and shoulder belt is integrated into the seat back. It doesn't come out of the ceiling, which does mean it's easier to put the child seat right here in the center and cinch it up appropriately. Now the Grand Cherokee's top tether anchors are practically on the cargo area load floor, so I was not able to sit in this seating position right here and attach the top tether anchor and tighten it while sitting in the rear bench seat. I did have to put the child seat right back here, then crawl into the rear hatch, and then do it from inside the cargo area. When it comes to the three across child seat test, the Grand Cherokee scores incredibly well. I have about four inches of room right here between this child seat and the door, and about the same amount of room between the child seat and the armrest on the door. You do want the maximum amount of space possible because it's a lot safer in the event of a side impact accident. Especially if you're in a vehicle like this with side curtain airbags, you do want them to deploy between the door and the child seat, not into the child seat. Now, as I said, the Grand Cherokee is relatively large for a two-row, five-passenger SUV or crossover. However, when we open the tailgate right back here, you may find that you'll have a little bit less room than in some of those larger two-row crossovers like a Ford Edge. Now, when you're taking a look at the cargo area, it's important to keep in mind that the Grand Cherokee has off-roading in mind, and really none of those other two-row vehicles do. It's really obvious when you take a look under this cargo load floor, and we find a full-size spare tire in the Grand Cherokee. These are really wide tires on this vehicle, and we have a full-size spare, and that does eat up a lot of cargo area right in here. We also have some additional cargo room right around that spare tire that does eat into a little bit of the space. Let's see what impact that has on child seats. As I have the first child seat right here, and I put it in the cargo area, the first thing you'll notice is because we have that full-size spare tire down there, I can't actually put this tonneau cover properly 
over the child seat. It does bulge up a little bit right here because the child seat is actually a little bit higher than that tonneau cover. Now, of course, part of that's because Jeep does want good visibility in the Grand Cherokee, and so they put that tonneau cover a little bit lower because we have a little bit larger rear windows than you'll find in some of the crossovers, but also it has to do with that spare tire and the approach and departure angles because of the off-road mission of the Grand Cherokee. Even so, I had no problem fitting three child seats right there in the back, and I can very easily put this 24-inch roller bag right in here, and I can also put this 26-inch roller bag right on top. I'm not really the best at packing, but you can really see how large this cargo area is in the Grand Cherokee. One other thing about the Grand Cherokee is that, compared to some of those other two-row crossovers out there, we have a rear hatch that's a little bit more vertical. It still slants a little bit inwards, but it's more vertical than some of those other competitors. Because this vehicle does have reclining rear seat backs, the tonneau cover roller is actually placed a little bit closer to the rear than the middle of the vehicle to allow those rear seats to recline and not really impact on that tonneau cover. That means that if I removed it, I would actually be able to fit even more cargo inside. Our particular model also has this power tailgate hatch, which is very convenient. They put the button right there on the side, which may be a little bit easier for shorter drivers rather than having it right here on the tailgate. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Again, I'm Alex Dykes, and this has been the 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit Diesel. If you want to know more about this model, you will find the complete review on my channel. Go ahead and click that subscribe banner at the bottom of your screen so you can be updated on all of my latest videos. You can find me over at facebook.com slash alexandautos, over at twitter as alexandautos, and you can always email your questions to alex at alexandautos.com. I'll see you next week.